Hey everybody, Tin Man here. And welcome to my easy cooking channel. Uh, I wasn't even going to do a video today because my arms are hurting quite a bit, but I unthawed these uh, whole chicken legs here and they're so big and, um, and impressive, I thought, man, i got to put those in a video. So uh, I'm going to season them with this adobo seasoning. Now I bought this at Lucky's and you buy this in the in the meat department by the meat counter that's where I found it and such a big bottle I didn't know if I wanted to you know buy such a big bottle and the butchers like hey I think you'll like that stuff on chicken if you don't just bring it back so uh, that was cool so it is really good on chicken he was right about that so all I'm gonna do is just uh, season these big old chicken legs with this adobo seasoning here and uh, Cook them in my toaster oven. And I'm going to pull the skin back like that and get some of that under the skin. That way it'll, the meat will have some flavor too, instead of just the skin. There we are. The stuff is pretty salty, so you don't want to go crazy with it. But it does have a lot of flavor. It's, uh, it has kind of a spicy flavor, but it's not like super hot or anything. It's fairly mild. So I can get that under the skin on that one. And these are some nice looking chicken legs. Look how big these are. Let's see if we can get that seasoning under the skin on that. There we are. That'll be really good. Then we'll just pop them in the toaster oven. Cook them for an hour or so. These ought to be awesome. Alright, we're looking good. Let's get these in the oven. Alright, I set my oven to 400 degrees and I stuck a meat thermometer in one of the legs there and I'm going to cook it to at least 165 degrees. Um, the dark meat like legs and thighs you can cook a little higher. Breasts you want to just get them out of there at 165 but the dark meat has more fat in it so if it cooks a little longer than that that's cool um, all right we'll just shut the oven and let them cook now okay it's been about 50 minutes and the thermometer on that one leg says 180 so uh, let's check the temperature of this big one in the front here with my quick read thermometer yeah, that one only says about 161, so I think I'm going to let them cook just a little bit longer. Now, if you don't have a thermometer, I guess the best thing to do is just pull one out and cut into it and check it that way. Okay, I let these cook for five more minutes, and I think that should be good. I'm going to turn it off. So... About 55 minutes at 400 degrees. People ask me about times a lot, so 55 minutes that took at 400 degrees. We'll let those cool down just a little bit, and then we'll uh, pull them out and see how they turned out. Okay, I'm letting this chicken cool off for just a few minutes so I don't burn myself. Actually, the temperature on that thermometer on that one got up to almost 200 degrees, so hopefully I didn't dry it out, but I think it'll be okay. That's why I like dark meat. It's a little more forgiving. Breasts, if you overcook it at all, they dry out. But dark meat's a little more forgiving in that way. Check out this cool cup I got today. Team Tin Man. If I only had a heart. I have a heart. It just has a pig valve on it. Now I just need a brain. <laughs> Look how big that chicken leg is. Okay, here's the fun part. Here's where I burn myself. Let's get a bite of this thing. Man, that thing is huge. Mmm. 
Look how juicy that is. Yeah, that's good. Man, this seasoning is really good. And it seems like chicken comes out juicier when I put this seasoning on it. Is that possible? Is there something they can put in seasoning that uh, makes meat juicier? I don't really know. Mmm. Man, that's good. So this is a really easy way to cook some good chicken. Thanks for watching, you guys. And I'll talk to you next time.